methods. Welcome to week five, which is your final week of our humanities project on migration. Um, it is our chance to be revising and putting those final touches on those beautiful projects you've been working on. Um, so let's jump into it. First off, as usual, some updates for you, just to keep you informed. First up, with grades, we have this new policy, so I just want to emphasize it, because I know it can be kind of confusing. 60% um, or more is credit, okay, because we're doing a credit, no credit system, okay, which means you actually have some choice about what work you want to do, so make it fit your style, make it fit your needs. And part of that, you'll see, is that office hours and cohort check-ins count towards your grade. Each of your teachers is giving 10 points of extra credit, um, and every week you'll get 30 points per class, so that's about a third of your work could come through office hours and cohort check-ins. So I would definitely recommend checking that out. Um, and we are going to be updating in Aries so that you can actually track your own progress. You can see how close you are to that 60% or to that 100%. That's the range you want to be in. And remember, you do get credit for coming to office hours. So just a reminder that our cohort check-ins are every Monday at 2. That's a, a space for you to kind of connect, check in, goof around, whatever you want. And then on Thursday, we've got physiology, Spanish, and humanities. And Friday, we've got math and chem. This is your space. We're there for that whole hour. So show up whenever you need. And if you're feeling shy, feel free to text us first. Um, but we really would love to see you. And we can give you one-on-one -on -one support there if you're feeling really stuck. So that is a support for you. And now again, um, for us in Humanities, please don't forget to complete the weekly survey. It's um, linked on your assignment. Um, we really do use it uh, to revise our work every week, and we appreciate hearing your thoughts. So thank you for all of those um, who have been completing it. All right, now into this final week of Unit 9 on global migration. Our goals. We started off by researching. You did that root cause research, you found at least three reliable sources, and then you chose an issue or an event that interests you. And you all chose some really interesting ones, so I've appreciated learning from you over these past few weeks. Then, of course, you sharpened your writing skills. Did you know we have so many poets in this class? You all have beautiful poetry, beautiful narrative writing that you shared with us in our third week. Um, and now we're working on that convincing message. So the goal for this final week is to revise your project to make it convincing to your audience. Okay, so re we really want to be focusing on audience awareness. Who do you want to hear your message? Who would it impact the most, right? And how can you get their attention? So again, using those empathy skills that we practiced when we did our narrative writing and trying to get into the shoes of the people who need to hear this message. That's our real goal. So where this falls, of course, it is the last week. Um, and just a reminder that great artists are reflecting and revising. So we're thinking both about this as from an artist perspective, um, if you drew, but also from the artist perspectives, if you wrote. So that's our goal for this week, is to do that reflection and that revision. Okay. Now, just to be clear, um, yes, this is the last week of our humanities project, but there are two more weeks of classes and three more weeks of school, which I know nobody want, really wants to hear right now. <laughs> so I know that's not exciting news. We're like, when is summer, right? Um, but I promise you that your 10th grade teachers are doing our best to put together something um, that gives you options um, and hopefully, you know, keeps you interested. So we're just here to support you through the end of your 10th grade year, which is basically three more weeks. Yikes. Okay. Um, for this week, we've got our three steps. As per usual, you're doing step one right now. Step two will have some choice. We heard you that you like having options and you like having videos. So we have a few different revision strategies that you can be using with different videos. Okay. Um, and you'll see you're just going to choose two uh, when you're revising your own writing. The first one for everyone is rhetorical devices, and then you can choose any other that you like. And then step three you're making final revisions, and then you're writing a paragraph that justifies why you made them. So justify means that you're explaining in a convincing way. And this is what really advanced writers do. They don't just write, they metacognitively think about the moves that they made. And that's how we get better as writers. So we're practicing that with our final step today. Okay, and remember everything is due um, by 11.59 on Friday. I'm gonna do just a quick run through of what this looks like. 
you know the deal right here. There is a new week five padlet, so please fill that out. It's a nice space for you all to interact. Step two, this is your reflection where you're thinking about strengths and growths. And then this is where I'm talking about options. Okay, so the first one, everybody's going to look at this rhetorical devices uh, near pod lesson. And you've got the slides, but then you've got choice. Okay, you can choose any of these different revision skills depending on what makes the most sense for you. Um, and for my artists out there, we have a lot of uh, people who are making really beautiful drawings. I saw it in your drafts. Um, where it says has examples for images, those are probably the ones that you want to choose from. Okay, because they've got ex examples of how to make artwork more convincing. Um, you'll take notes on the right side for whichever ones you do, right here. Um, and then your last step is to actually put it all together. So you'll see most of this will happen on a document called Final Revised Draft, which looks like this. You're going to copy and paste or link your final draft right here, depending on what it is. And then this is where you're writing that justification. You're explaining how your revisions improved the quality of your project and made it more convincing. And I would suggest everybody looks at this example put together by Mr. D. Um, it's his style, it's his length, but you can look at it um, and see if it works for you to sort of spark some ideas. So that is everything for this week. As usual, you've got these supports. Cohort check-ins and office hours give you extra credit, which is dope. Um, and I really got to say, I know I probably say this every week, but I love hearing from you all. I really do miss you. And it makes me so sad to think about how I'm not going to see you. Well, most of you, I guess. Some of you I've been seeing, like, just on the street. Um, but most of you I won't see until next year, which is kind of crazy to saying how much time we spend together usually. So feel free to reach out. I love getting those messages, those emails, texts, calls. Instagram messages, whatever works. Um, we are here for you, so don't feel like you're alone, okay? Um, and for those who might love reading support, I love Google Read and Write. This is still here. The video is linked if you would like to um, check it out. It's on YouTube. Like and subscribe. Just kidding. Where am I? Um, and that's the end, okay? So now you're going to finish by answering those questions for step one, and you'll move on with the rest of your project. All right, good luck. And as always, reach out if you need any support. We are all in this together.